You can infuse. You can drink in the stormlight and command it. But being a radiant was more than that. It was their way of life, the things they did, the immortal words. Life before death, strength before weakness, journey before destination. That was their motto and was the first ideal of the immortal words. Life before death. The Radiant seeks to defend life, always. He never kills unnecessarily and never risks his own life for frivolous reasons. Living is harder than dying. The Radiant's duty is to live. Strength before weakness. All men are weak at some time in their lives. The Radiant protects those who are weak and uses his strength for others. Strength does not make one capable of rule. It makes one capable of service. Journey before destination. There are always several ways to achieve a goal. Failure is preferable to winning through unjust means. Protecting ten innocents is not worth killing one. In the end, all men die. How you lived will be far more important to the Almighty than what you accomplished. Death, strength before weakness, journey before destination. A thick jolt of power shot up his arm. His muscles burned with energy, with the desire to move. The tempest spread within, pushing at his skin, causing his blood to pump in a powerful rhythm. He opened his eyes. Glowing smoke rose around him. He was able to contain much of the light, holding it in by holding his breath. It felt as if it would rip him apart. to realize that he knew them, though they'd never been told to him. I will protect those who cannot protect themselves.
He is mine, the feminine voice said. I claim him. He betrayed his oath. The knife slipped from Kaladin's fingers, clanging to the ground. He was too weak to hold it. His arm flopped back to his side and he stared down at the knife, dazed. I don't care. He will kill you. The words, Kaladin. That was Syl's voice. You have to speak the words. I forbid this. Your will matters not, Syl shouted. You cannot hold me back if he speaks the words. The words, Kaladin. Say them. I will protect even those I hate, Kaladin whispered through bloody lips. So long as it is right. are accepted, the Stormfather said reluctantly. Kaladin, Syl's voice, stretch forth thy hand. She zipped around him, suddenly visible as a ribbon of light. I can't, Kaladin said, drained. Stretch forth thy hand. He reached out a trembling hand. Moash hesitated. Wind blew in the opening in the wall and Syl's ribbon of light became mist a form she often took. Silver mist, which grew larger, coalesced before Kaladin extending into his hand. Glowing, brilliant, a shard blade emerged from the mist, vivid blue light shining from swirling patterns along its length. Kaladin gasped a deep breath as if coming fully awake for the first time. The entire hallway went black as the stormlight in every lamp down the length of the hall winked out. For a moment, they stood in darkness. Then Kaladin exploded with light. It erupted from his body, making him shine like a blazing white sun in the darkness. Noash backed away, face pale in the white brilliance, throwing up a hand to shade his eyes. Pain evaporated like mist on a hot day. Kaladin's grip firmed upon the glowing shard blade, a weapon beside which those of Graves and Moash looked dull. One after another, shutters burst open, and down the hallway, wind screaming into the corridor. Behind Kaladin, frost crystallized on the ground, growing backward away from him, a glyph formed in the frost almost in the shape of wings. Graves screamed, falling in his haste to get away. Moash backed up, staring at Kaladin. The night's radiant, Kaladin said softly, have returned. <laughs>